So what's the deal with this delta symbol, and why is it all over the place? That's what we'll talk about today. I'm Ben. This is Physics or Bust. In order to fully deal with the delta symbol, we first need to look at the, both the commutative property and the associative property with addition and subtraction. When doing vector addition, vector addition is commutative, meaning you can do vector A plus vector B, or switch that around and do vector B plus vector A, and it gives you the same result. However, vector subtraction is not commutative, meaning if you do vector A minus vector B, that's not the same as doing vector B minus vector A. You would end up getting a different resultant vector with those two scenarios. So vector subtraction is not commutative. You have to have them in the correct order in order to have the same result. On the other hand, both vector addition and vector subtraction are associative, meaning you can put parentheses around one set or another and it won't change what your resultant vector is. So if you have a plus b minus c, whether you put the parentheses around the a plus b or parentheses around the b minus c, as long as the statement itself is in that order, you'll get the same resultant vector. As you can see with these vectors that I uh, have up there, when you do a plus b, then subtract s vector c, you get the same resultant vector as if you have vector uh, b minus vector c, and then add vector a. Both those scenarios gives you the same resultant vector, which means that vector addition and subtraction are associative. So why is that important for the delta that we're going to deal with here? Because vector subtraction is not commutative, the order matters. Delta is the symbol for change in science. It always denotes a final minus initial. Note that it is not the same as initial minus final. So it's always going to be the final condition minus the initial condition to get you a change. So anywhere you see a delta, it's always going to be final minus initial. You'll, your final state minus your initial state. So if you're looking at time, it'll be the final time minus the initial time. If you're looking at a displacement, uh, note that is a vector, you're, you'd have to look at your final displacement minus your initial displacement to get your resultant displacement. That delta is the Greek symbol D, essentially denoting difference. So anywhere you see a delta, it's looking at a change, a final minus an initial. Hope that helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe and remember, keep asking questions. I'll see you on the next video.